I was recently on vacation, and I did what anybody would do who desperately needed a break. I tried to work, and by work, I mean drive. Let me tell you how that played out, or didn't. While on vacation, I finally got a new phone, so for those of you who have been bashing me about still using an iPhone 6, might be time to lay off. Anyway, I digress. While I was there, I wanted to break in my new phone and take some orders, so I opened the DoorDash app and looked for any available hours. But there were none. I decided to check a nearby market, and then another one, and another, but it was the same story. None of the eight or nine markets that were available within an hour's drive had any hours available whatsoever. At least not when anybody would be ordering. I mean, come on, let's be real. How many orders are you actually going to see at 3 o'clock in the morning in the cornfields of Illinois? Don't get me wrong, the lack of available hours isn't an uncommon thing. It happens in my market too. So, I figured I would try there what I do here, and just leave the Dasher app open until something somewhere turned red. I tried this probably 8 or 10 times over the course of a couple of weeks, and nothing, I mean nothing, turned red a single time. And no, I wasn't checking at 3 o'clock in the morning. I was checking when people should have been ordering, like during lunch and dinner. I've always been very hardline with my approach on acceptance rate, and I've made it no secret that I don't think people should take garbage just for the ability to dash now. Having said that, I understand those of you in smaller markets a lot better now, because it was frustrating wanting to drive, but not being able to. Now, if I lived in that area and I was reliant on DoorDash to make ends meet, I'd be screwed. But this isn't a video about me complaining about not being able to drive while on vacation. It's a video about what the updated driver tier system is going to do to small markets like those. If this is the first time you're hearing about an update to the driver tier system, pause this video, go check out this one, and then come back. Now, for those of you who already know what's changing, let's continue. I'm of the opinion that this update is putting a lot of drivers in between a rock and a hard place. Let me explain why. As it stands now, so many drivers in so many markets around the country have to maintain a 70% acceptance rate and take garbage just to get any hours. As most of you probably know by now, the Top Dasher program was gutted over a year ago. They no longer claim that you get better paying orders or that you have priority to those orders. In fact, the only perk is that you can dash now. But under the updated system, the drivers are getting squeezed even harder. You now need an 80% acceptance rate, and that doesn't even guarantee the ability to dash now. Rather than receiving verifiable benefits like dash now, you're now being forced to compete with other drivers to grab as many hours as you can as soon as they drop. Since dash now is up in the air, there's no guarantee you'll be able to drive even with an 80% acceptance rate without a schedule. In my mind, an 80% acceptance rate for the possibility of being able to dash now is not a good deal for drivers and will be devastating for those in small markets. If you drive in a large market, I am not saying that you won't be affected. However, I don't think you'll be hit quite as hard as those in medium to smaller markets. Keep in mind, their main priority is to get orders delivered quickly, not to reward us. So, if there's a part of your market that's underserved by drivers, they're going to turn the map red and list that area as a hotspot. Unlike small markets, larger markets will likely have restaurants all over the place. And in that case, it's not about priority, it's about proximity and how close you are to the pickup. If you're somebody who schedules, yes, this update will affect your ability to grab hours early. So, multi-app and leave the Dasher app open on your phone and just wait for the freaking map to turn red. In a lot of cases, Drivers in larger markets just don't have to rely on the supposed perks associated with the high acceptance rate to get hours and therefore orders. Speaking of that, I want to take a moment to talk about the evolution of acceptance rate on DoorDash, what you got then versus what you get now. When I started driving four years ago, a 70% acceptance rate and a couple of other stats would get you dash now, full stop, anytime, in any market. On top of that, DoorDash would make some not so easily verifiable claims, such as you get priority to the highest paying orders in your area. Now, this is not to be confused with the large order program. A couple summers back, DoorDash decided that they just weren't tricking enough drivers into having a high acceptance rate. So, they decided to roll out the Diamond program, or as it was originally called, the High Pay Order program. Being part of the Diamond program never unlocked Dash Now. 
it just gave you priority access to higher paying orders. Like, come on, I can't be the only one who finds that a little fishy, that DoorDash was promising top dashers and drivers in the Diamond program the exact same thing. Before we go any further, I'd like to challenge you to find clear and precise language from DoorDash where they clarify the difference between top dasher priority before they stripped it away and the priority that Diamond drivers supposedly get. To me, it sure seems like DoorDash was promising the exact same thing to two different groups of drivers. Now, this is going to piss some people off, but it's the truth. Drivers ate it up, and all of a sudden, a 50% acceptance rate was a very common thing. Here's an honest question for you. What motivation did we give them to not squeeze us anymore? None, which is why the Diamond program is now a 60% acceptance rate, and to be a Platinum driver, you need 80%. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that we drivers sent the message that it's okay to squeeze us even harder, and DoorDash responded by doing just that. That right there is why I believe in educating other drivers when I meet them, because clearly DoorDash won't. So, what's next? Do we raise our acceptance rate yet again, sending the message that it's okay that they squeezed us? Or do we hold off, accept what meets our standards, and roll the dice and hope we get ours? Apps like DoorDash are not allowed to have an acceptance rate requirement. It's where it crosses the line from independent contractor to employee. So, while they can't deactivate us for falling below a certain acceptance rate, they can make it damn near impossible to get any hours. And that's exactly what I feel this new update is doing. I'm of the opinion that this will have potentially devastating consequences in smaller and medium-sized markets. I want to give you a quick example of something similar. It's not legal for a cop to just pull you over because they're bored. However, it's perfectly legal for them to follow you for 30 miles and wait for you to make the tiniest little slip up, and then pull you over. At that point, the law is completely on their side and they can jack you up as much as they choose to. Don't get me wrong, I don't think that DoorDash will ever try to say that we have an acceptance rate requirement to remain active on the platform, because they know it wouldn't hold up in court. However, they damn sure will continue to squeeze drivers who don't play the game their way, making it almost impossible to earn money, and unfortunately, that is legal. I'm of the opinion that this new update to the tier system is going to be everywhere before we know it. As a matter of fact, within the last few weeks, they just rolled it out to several new markets, some of which had no warning whatsoever. Do me a favor, pause the video, let me know if you have the new driver tier system in your market yet. If you do, How's it working out for you? I don't think anybody is going to benefit from this update except DoorDash. But I want to take a moment to address drivers in smaller and medium sized markets where it's going to have the biggest impact. Don't get me wrong, an 80% acceptance rate is high anywhere. But I've seen far too many screenshots come out of small markets to believe that 8 out of 10 orders could be sustainable in any small market. On top of that, customers aren't tipping like they used to and order volume is down. So, where does that leave us? It leaves us accepting trash, hoping that we can dash now. Does that resonate with you? Because it sure as hell doesn't with me. But I guess the most important question is, at that point, are you actually turning a profit, or are you just doing charity work? I hear it from drivers in small markets all the time. It's almost impossible to get hours, and when you do, the orders suck. What happens when dash now goes away in your market? Please don't make the mistake of assuming that your market can't take a nosedive. Have a plan B. That way, if the worst case scenario happens, you land on your feet. I realize that this is a tough subject and I'm asking some hard questions. But we're talking about it so you're not blindsided when this inevitably comes to your market and you potentially lose half of your DoorDash income. Well, what are your thoughts? Are there any benefits to this update whatsoever? Do you have it? Be sure to let me know in the comment section. All right, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you haven't done so yet, please do consider pressing the like button and subscribing to my channel. My name is Zach. Take care.